the thought of harvesting water from humid air? Well, a so-called rainmaker is making waves across the country with these atmospheric water generators. Air Water CEO Ray De Vries joins me now to chat more about his creation. Ray, very good morning to you. What's it all about? Morning, Jane. Morning to the listeners. Now, basically what we do is we harvest the humidity from the air with machines that uh, draw in the air, cool the air down. The condensation then goes through filtration and sterilization process. No chemicals are used and hopefully we bottle in glass. Okay, so the size of the machines, I gather you've got quite large ones, much smaller ones, which you can get out to areas that really need it. How do they work? We have smaller ones uh, that we use multiples of. So um, for argument's sake, we've got a 70 liter a day machine. If we needed 140, we'd use two, 210, we use three, etc. Um, and the reason we do that is that we can scale it onto solar or onto the, the power grid. And then if it's used for uh, bottling plants, commercial bottling plants for hotels, restaurants, etc., uh, then we use a particular con configuration. But we can make up to uh, 10,000, 20,000 liters a day, depending on what the needs of the, of the situation are. Fantastic. So then you're not reliant on, for example, the Vol Dam and how much water is there. You look at what happened in Cape Town. This sort of thing, I should imagine, will help those who are able to access it. Absolutely. You know, the worrying thing about it is if you have a look at the dam, the Vol Dam at the moment, I think it's 36% full. And the rains have been amazing, but the rains aren't falling where they used to fall, and the dams aren't being built where the rain is falling. So we sit with a situation of that's the old, the old style. We, we, we work from the storage units, the dams, the reservoirs, the rivers, etc. But air water is brilliant because the solution is right under our noses here. Uh, we make water where it's needed. We don't take water to where it's needed, by truck or by pipeline, for that matter. Yeah, very clever. And I believe you got this idea with your time on Doozy when you were studying water there and its impact. And tell us a little bit more about the story. Yeah, it was an amazing day, you know. Um, the last day of the Doozy, uh, I used to do the closing on the television uh, on, on the, the insert. And what I'd, I'd, I'd always keep my, my clean shirt for the last day. And I was waiting in the, in the valley for, uh, for a helicopter to pick me up to take me to the finish to do the closing link. And uh, I had a drink, and uh, it was very, very humid, very, very hot. And there was a little guy sitting next to me, and this is in the flatine in the middle of the bush. And uh, I, I drank from the bottle, and all the dust that was on my arms, etc., spilled all over my shirt. And this little guy, who was a sweet little guy, said, Would, can I help you? So I said, uh, no, I'm fine, thank you very much. And uh, I said, do you know why? Why, why the, there was water there? He said, of course. He said, there's no hole in the bottle. He said, everybody knows that if it's humid and if it's hot, well, uh, you know, you've got water. And I thought, wow, that's, that's profound. This little child in the middle of nowhere knows what, knows what the solution is, but we don't. And uh, I got involved in, in, in looking around for, for, for technology that was alternative and, uh, and found this. And I thought, why is everybody not doing this? And, Ray, can anybody get this? I mean, can you put it in your home if you want to? I believe you're not only targeting South Africa, but other countries have been interested too. Absolutely. I've just sold two to London uh, on the weekend. Yeah, we can, you can have a, a machine in your home. You can take your home off the grid if you wanted to. And the good thing is that the prices come down to about 33% of what they were, well, 30% of what, what they were two years ago during the drought, or three years, during the drought or three years ago during the drought in Cape Town. So I can go from there. We've just built a configuration now, which I'm really chuffed about. I was really moved to see visuals of children climbing into drains, down into drains to go and fetch their water. Uh, horrible. And a hell of a frustration if you're a person like me that has the ability or the machines to make the water that could keep that kid happy and, and healthy for the rest of his life. And uh, so we put a configuration together. Um, no fancy frills, no special sort of things on it. And for under 100,000 rand, we can feed or, 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 or uh, let 100 children per day drink perfectly pure water. So for under a million rand, we could do 1,000 kids. So your average school could be covered, every single school could be covered in a humidity and temperature belt uh, and drink water purely from the air each and every single day. Clever man. Ray de Fris. Thanks for that.